YouTube, this is Ian559Fresno, and today I'm going to teach you how to basically restore your iPhone without updating it. The uh, bad side to this is you have to have your SHSH saved only if your iPhone is uh, 3GS or 4. Uh, if you have a 3G, then you might need the SHSH saved, like if it's on 4. Point whatever. I'm sure it does, it has the SHSH saved. If not, you can downgrade it to 3.1.3, no SHSH required. Uh, so that's a potential way of not updating the baseband. Uh, if you do have a 3GS and the latest SHSH you have is for the latest iPhone version, which is not unlockable, you can use Snowbreeze to preserve the baseband. But for this video, we're just going to show you how to update it if you do have the SHSH saved. Alright, you're going to need to have your iPhone all backed up and everything, sync it to your computer, and you need to open up iTunes. Uh, right here it'll say software version, and it might say whatever version you're on. I'm on 3.1.2, so and um, I want to keep it on 3.1.2. So I'm going to restore it to 3.1.2. Uh, well, you guys can factor in whatever you guys want to restore it to. Alright, you're going to need a program called Tiny Umbrella. The link will be in the description. Under the video, just click Show More, and you'll see all the links. Alright, open up Tiny Umbrella, and if it doesn't load, it means you don't have Java installed. Go and install Java. Okay, uh, once you open up Tiny Umbrella, go right here where it says Connected Devices, and click on it. Then click Save SHSH. And down here, you're going to see all of this device is connected, and it's going to try to find as many SHSHs as it can. You can click on Log, and see if it'll tell you if it found any SHSHs. Alright, looks like I didn't find any SHSHs for me, but no problem, because I have a 3G, which doesn't need the SHSH for versions 3.1.3, 3.1.2, and, you know, the 3.0 version. Uh, the, if you don't know if you have a 3G or 3GS, just look in my YouTube channel. I have a video on uh, determining that. Okay, so I'm out of luck, no SHSH, but I'm going to restore it to 3.1.2. This is how. You're just going to leave your iPhone connected, make sure it appears in iTunes. In Tiny Umbrella, go right here where it says Start TSS Server. Click on that. You should see a little spinning thing. You probably noticed if you had iTunes open, uh, it exited by itself. That's normal, don't worry. Alright, so once it's done, minimize it. Do not exit this. Go over to iTunes and open it up. Alright, and let it load. It'll tell you, see, this new version is available. I don't want to update it because I want to keep my baseband. No, if you did downgrade your iPhone in the past, say you were on like 4.1, 4.2, and you went down to 3.1.2, and you want to keep it at 3.1.2 and restore, you're going to get an error code 1015. Don't worry, I'm going to show you how to fix that if that happens. Alright, so you're just going to go to your iPhone right here, where it says devices, just under that. Then right here, you're going to see the restore button. You're going to need to hold the shift key on your computer. Hold it, not just press it. Then go to where it says restore, and you're going to click restore as you're holding the shift key and this dialog box will pop up if it doesn't that means you didn't hold the shift key uh, for Max I think it's CTRL I'm not sure though uh, you can google search that but alright so once this window opens up uh, you gotta find the firmware since I'm on 3.1.2 and I wanna keep it that way I'm gonna click on the 3.1.2 firmware file Links will be in the description on where to download all firmware files for your device. Uh, firmware files, 1, 2 means it's a 3G firmware file. 
1 comma 1 means it's a 2G firmware file, aka the first generation iPhone with the silver back. 2 comma 1 means it's a 3GS firmware file, and uh, I'm sorry, 3 comma 1 means it's an iPhone 4 firmware file. 2 comma 1 means it's a 3GS firmware file. All right, so just click on it, and then it'll come up right here, file name, once you click on it, that's right. Then just go down to where it says open and click on that. You should see extracting software. This is when the restoring begins. probably like wondering how this works well when you click start TSS server you're directing it to like a I guess you could call it a fake iPhone Apple restore ser server like uh, if you update it iTunes always checks to make sure you're not downgrading or anything this is tricking it into making it it's like makes it think that 3.1.2 is the highest version out or whatever you're restoring it to is the highest version out currently. Alright, so just let your device sit and uh, it'll be restoring. Mine was downgraded in the past, so I'm going to show you what happens to me. I'm going to get error message 1015. That's because this iPhone wasn't like it was updated in the past to 4.2 and then I downgraded it to 3.1.2. Just give it some time, it's going to take uh, a bit of time depending on what, uh, how much stuff was on your iPhone. Mine shouldn't take too long because uh, there was nothing on it. You probably noticed that the bar on the iTunes is like longer uh, than the one on the iPhone. Uh, it's increasing at a more rapid rate, don't worry, it's going to all turn out well. Alright, so it shouldn't take a whole lot of time, probably 5-10 more minutes. Um, if I do run out of time, I'll just end the video, because uh, the video time limit, I think it's like 15 minutes. Uh, be sure to check out my YouTube channel, maybe you'll find something interesting in there. Subscribe, it's free, it'll tell you every time I update, uh, upload a new video. Who knows, maybe you'll find something interesting.
just uh, let it sit, should be done pretty soon. It won't take a whole lot of time. Alright, so you can see that top, uh, it's going to be, look, it's going to look like it's done, but the uh, iPhone is still restoring. Don't unplug it. Now I am, I am going to get an error 1015 message. Uh, you're not if you didn't up, if you didn't downgrade your phone. Okay, so it's almost done. See, mine got error 1015. If that happens to you, that means you downgraded, or maybe in the past, you, um, if you had the iPad baseband installed, you know, for the unlock, baseband 6.15.00, that's another reason. Um, don't worry, it's easily fixable, you'll see right now takes like 10 seconds really. I just exit out iTunes. The heck? I'll click OK and then click OK and go back to Tiny Umbrella. Stop TSS server. Click on that. Once it's done, you'll see that loading thing go away. I'll go to recovery devices click on it and then click exit recovery and that will fix error 1015 if that doesn't fix error 1015 that's because you're on 4.2.1 you have a couple options you can use fix recovery uh, it's another program, you can search, I have videos on that. Or you can restore it to a custom firmware. Or we're just going to have to wait for the phone to start up. So as you can tell, the phone has been restored to 3.1.2. Everything is working here, I'll even show you that iTunes says it's on 3.1.2. Once iTunes detects it, there's no SIM card. Oh, uh, I think I haven't activated it yet. If you don't have an AT&T SIM card and you see the screen, you need to do something called Hacktivating it. I have a video on that too. You can just search in my channel. Uh, here, let me just show you that I am on 3.1.2 and that this did work. Tiny Umbrella will show you what version your phone is on. Alright. Uh, 
I just, I'm going to click on connected devices. And right here, installed firmware version 3.1.2. So that just shows you that my phone was restored without updating it. Hope you like this video. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, subscribing is free. Uh, I explained it earlier in the video. Uh, thank you.